So, let's start at the very beginning, around 13.7 billion years ago. Before there was any time or space as we know it. Actually, we really don't know what there was at or before the very beginning of the universe. But we do now know what happened a tiny fraction of a second later. From a minuscule, dense, hot dot, the size of which about a trillion would fit on a pinhead, the universe was born. When it came to be, it unleashed an unbelievable amount of energy and for a brief second it expanded faster than the speed of light, growing to the size of a galaxy. It was so hot and so pressurized that all the basic forces of nature we know today were unified. But very quickly, gravity broke away as the pressure began to drop. This was then followed by the electromagnetic, the weak nuclear and the strong nuclear forces. This splitting of the major forces released even more latent energy into the system. And at these very, very high temperatures, energy can actually be converted into matter according to E equals mc squared. That's energy equals matter multiplied by the speed of light squared. So these huge amounts of energy can therefore produce matter and antimatter, which immediately annihilates each other to return back to energy. An incredibly mad, chaotic war of trillions and trillions of particles spontaneously appearing and then disappearing ensued. But this process was, for reasons unknown, not perfect. And some residual matter particles, about one in a billion, remained. And this makes up all the stuff we have today. Then the temperatures cooled and matter stopped being produced. The universe was filled with a dense, hot, fog-like plasma of energy and matter particles, consisting mostly of hydrogen, some helium and a very small amount of lithium. And this continued to expand until its temperature eventually fell to 3000 degrees Kelvin around 380,000 years after the Big Bang. At this particular temperature, electrons can settle into the atoms and behave as they do today. So from this opaque plasma fog, there suddenly was a massive release of light. The universe continues to expand today at an increasing rate and is a thousand times bigger and subsequently dividing its earlier temperature by a thousand is now only three degrees above absolute zero. Well, let's take a look at some of the evidence for this theory. It turns out that stars are moving away from us. We see this through the redshift of the light wave as it recedes from us. This is a bit like undulating a skipping rope. When it is loose and close together, it produces bigger waves as you move it. These bigger waves equate to the blue side of light. As the rope is stretched, these waves reduce in amplitude and show that the wave is longer and redder and is therefore moving away. The universe is therefore expanding. Yesterday it was smaller than it is today. 
and therefore had more pressure and was hotter in the past. When we take these measurements back over billions of years, we reach a point where the universe had no size at all. The moment of light release, 380,000 years after the Big Bang, would have left an extended, even flatter light wave. A microwave. Today, this is actually detectable as background microwave radiation, exactly as is predicted by the theory, and has now been mapped by very sensitive equipment to show the universe exactly as it was at 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This is often referred to as the smoking gun, as it confirms the basics of the Big Bang theory as fact. Another interesting piece of evidence is that astrological objects older than 13 billion years have never ever been discovered. The minimum amount of hydrogen and helium around now is again exactly as is predicted by the Big Bang Theory. However, the theory still has a few hiccups. 90% of gravity comes from an unknown substance called dark matter. And the universe is expanding because of an unexplained phenomenon called dark energy. We still have not directly detected either of these and do not know exactly what they are. But the Big Bang Theory is undoubtedly correct and is supported by all the data and all the evidence. But it is still lacking the framework to explain why it came to be. And seems to be only a true part of a currently undiscovered broader theory.